Hey guys, this is Postbox Pat and welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get all the easter egg heads on the new battle game or the, the new mini game lobby should I say, or battle mode, whatever mode you're playing, glide, battle mode, you'll be able to do this with your friends with 16 players if you're playing uh, glide and battle and only 8 if you're playing tumble. It's pretty cool this thing but however the ending isn't the best, you only get the dragon head which is kind of cool if you're desperate for the dragon head but it's not 100% if you're not desperate for it and to be honest I don't really like the dragon head that much so so I wasn't too amazed by the end of it, but there is some cool things along the way that you can kind of learn about the lobby. So before I start, I'd just like to say that thing on the right there, if you shoot all them dots with an arrow, it'll fire a firework. And I believe on the left, if you fill that chest there with fish by using the fishing rods, each time the lights will fill up and eventually a music disc will pop out. Apart from that, that's all I've gathered so far. There's a lot of other easter eggs as well. If you shoot them buttons up there, creeper faces will appear in the walls up there. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to waste time doing that. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get all the heads. But if you want to try that for yourself, you can, and it's something to make it excited for you guys as well about actually watching it, me doing it. So let's get straight into this, and uh, here we go. So I don't know exactly what all these levers do. Some of the stuff I don't have a clue what it does, but I'm just messing around. But the heads, I know exactly how to get. So to start with, you're going to want to find the room which has the uh, actual table in it. So this bucket up here, you want to turn this to so it looks like it's tipping out so you're tipping the bucket out that angle so it's facing right downwards like that and then you go down here like this and this is this building by the way when i go outside you can see which building it is it's the one the highest one up you can get into by the fountain up here so once you're in here you go through this door here because that bucket just opens these iron doors and then in here this is how you drain the fountain now this is really key you press this button and the fountain it clearly drains you can see and there you are the fountain has been drained and the good thing about that is because you will need the fountain to be drained later on in this stage to get underneath so once you've done that you're going to want to get the heads so the first head that we're going to get to i don't know exactly which ones are which in which area but i can i think i roughly know the first one we're going to go for we'll go for this one over here which is the steve head now this is a pretty simple one basically all you got to do is copy exactly what I've got on screen. You're going to want to change the coding of these swords. If you remember in the old one, you could change the coding and get them. Now, I couldn't actually find the code, but about me playing around for about 20 minutes, I figured out what the code was. You want to face this one so it faces to the right. You want to leave the gold where it is. You want to put the iron so it faces upwards. And then the last one, I'm pretty sure you have it so it's facing diagonal like that. There you are. And the head opens up. You can access the chest in there. And once you're inside in there, you can grab however many Steve heads you want. I'm just going to take the one for now. But there you are. So we've got one Steve head. And that's awesome. So now you've got your Steve head. If you run to the opposite side over here, there should be another room which you can do a little challenge in or a little kind of Easter egg type thing over here. Once you're inside of here, you've got this one. Now for this to work, you just spam the buttons like that from left to from right to left and it should open up. Again, I'll go over that again. You just quickly spam the buttons from gold to emerald as fast as you can like that and they'll just open up simply like that. So you spam all four buttons really quick and it just opens up and you get the zombie head. So there's your zombie head. Now, you're probably wondering what are these heads for, Pat? Well, you'll notice that at the end of this video, once you've got all the heads, it actually opens up an Easter egg area down in the spawn. I will show you that later on. I don't want to kind of spoil it right now because it's not major. We can drop down to the spawn if we flick this lever here, which is inside the fountain. You can do that at any stage, but once you drop down to the spawn, you flick that lever here. I'll actually flick it now, but I will show this lever again in, later on. And down there, there are some chests which you can uh, grab. For the purpose of this video, we are actually going to go down there now because we're going to grab the wither head. And once you're down here, this is what I mean. You're basically going to put the heads inside this chest once you've got all, all five of them. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. And so far we've got two of them. So we're going to go for the wither one next. Now to get the wither one, you can simply just, if you look for the red, the old red room, if you know which one the red room was with the one with this red carpet, and you go in here, you go up these stairs in here once you've dropped down like I did, go up the ladder here. I'm pretty sure, oh no, not the red room, sorry, uh, the wrong one there, <laughs> that was the wrong one, you basically got to get into the nether, so whereabouts was the nether bit, uh, I can't remember, I think you flick this lever here, and there you go, yeah, flick that lever there, sorry, and go into the nether, so the red room is just here, the red room is how you get back up, and to the right of the red room is the lever, so you switch that, flick that lever, that opens up here into the nether, and once you're inside the nether here, you'll notice there's a chest right here, and then in this chest, you can access it and get the wither skull. So there you are, you've got the wither skull. So now you've got three out of the five. There's only two remaining, and the next two are pretty easy to get. One of them takes a little bit of time, depending on how good you are with a bow. Uh, but we'll see how good I am and see how quickly I can get it. So once you've got that to get back up, you just simply come into the red room, run up here, 
run up these stairs, run up the ladder. You can't actually get the creeper head from there because it won't let you access it anymore. But that's where you used to be able to get the creeper head. Up here you go, and then you flick these levers here to get out. There you are, you're out. Now, to simply get the actual skeleton one, this one's a little bit more difficult. You have to actually shoot where I'm looking now, up there. There's a little... Uh, is it that one or is it that one? Oh no, it's that one. There. You should, up there, you see the dispenser up there. You gotta shoot the little uh, button underneath it, which is pretty hard hit. I've been struggling to hit it a lot, but we'll have a little go and see if we can hit it. Hopefully with a little bit of luck we can. And to get the bow, you probably wonder where do you get a bow from? You simply just climb up these tree house here, this little tree. And then there's a bow in there with a bunch of arrows, so you can grab your arrows. And we're gonna need them arrows again after this challenge to get the creeper head. So we've gotta simply hit that uh that little button up there so i've got to try my best to hit it it's going to be quite difficult because it is quite a difficult shot just a little bit higher there pat that must have hit it i reckon that did hit it that one there uh so but just in case we'll keep firing again and see if we can get another hit on it i think that one definitely hit it then again just in case though you never know that that they're definitely hitting now we've got at least two hits on there so hopefully if you look around here there should be some there you are the skeleton heads floating around and we've got that one there. So we managed to get one skeleton head out of that. Obviously, the other ones must have missed. But if you repeat that nine times, you could get nine skeleton heads. So now we've got the skeleton head. The last one to get is the creeper head. This one is a little bit more difficult. You're probably wondering, how am I going to do this, Pat? It is quite difficult to do. It's not like 100% difficult, but you've got to make sure you do it right. So you want to find the two towers. So you know where they are first. There's two towers in this map, two main towers. You've got the one in the left corner there and the one in the right over there. You want to find them two. Once you've got the two of them, you want to remember where they are because that's going to be key because you need to be quick. So you know one's on the right over here and one's on the left. To access these very quickly, one of them you have to actually climb the treehouse. I recommend doing this one first because it takes a little bit of time to do. You don't want your arrows to despawn. And with the 16 player limit, there is actually a rendering reduce. I don't know if you've noticed, but the actual distance of rendering items has been reduced to make it less laggy. So uh, yeah, so you got to do this one first. It's just easier. So come this one first, run up this tower here. And then once you're at the top of the tower, you'll notice there is a little button or a pressure plate should i say you want to put an arrow on that pressure plate once the arrow is on the pressure plate you leave it on there you've got about a roughly a short amount of time not too long but a good amount of time basically to run to the other tower on the other side jump off here like that there we are jump down here up here and then if we keep running around here and then jump up here you can run up these stairs up here and again there'll be exactly the same point where there'll be another pressure plate on the floor where you want to drop your arrow again you don't have to use arrows you can use whatever item you want you could use mob heads if you wanted to you could get people to stand on them but the arrows is the easiest way so you get the arrow and then fireworks will go off which you'll notice which you'll hear which will go off just there so you can see the creeper fire which just gone off there and there that means it's worked so you've now got the creeper head access you want to drop down here like this like i'm doing and then you want to quickly run up here and you'll notice this little door over here is actually opened up so it's opened up and inside of here is the creep head so once you've got all five mob heads from that uh, you are sorted and set to go again there's a little easter egg over here i will demonstrate this now because you guys have probably already tried this out for yourself hit them little buttons up there it triggers them little cool creeper things in the wall that's really awesome uh, there you are. I just think that's really awesome design. I just really liked it. And it also opens up one of the sword pictures. There's plenty of other ones and things like this around the map as well. This one here, if you fill it with fish, then lights will turn on and it'll drop a music disc. Same over here. If you uh, fin finish that, I wonder what happens if you shoot it again. I don't think anything will happen. No, nothing will happen. That one over there, it just fires fireworks. And again, you can get the elite trait if you win a game and you will spawn up on the higher point up there. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, let's drop down to the underground section. I'll probably do another video very soon on the music discs as well if you guys are interested in that. But yes, we're now down in the other section down here. This doesn't work anymore, this button. And once you've got all your mob heads, you simply just put them in this chest over here to the music play. Yes, the music still does play nice. You simply just put all your mob heads into this chest and all the lights will turn off. So you can put them all in at once like I'm doing now. All five mob heads gone in. You notice all the lights come on hopefully with a little bit of luck. Doom, bing, bing, bing. All the lights have come on and it's not open. <laughs> because the door's open on the side. The gate doesn't open unfortunately. And once the door's open you can go inside and you can collect your rewarding dragon head. If you're really interested in a dragon head, you can collect it and boom, you can equip it just simply like that. So yeah, got your dragon head and you're inside this huge cool area, which is just not really 100% cool, but you've kind of done an Easter egg if you've got spare time in between mini games. I wouldn't actually go out your way to do this unless you're really desperate to get a dragon head with your friends and you wanna try it. Honestly, it's not the best Easter egg. It's just simply getting a dragon egg. You can't like go to the end or anything, which would be really awesome. Where you like imagine if there was an ever portal in here or an M portal, which you could go through. 
I thought that'd be really awesome if they did something like that and you could see something like unique, like a credit type scene or a little Easter egg or like a hide and seek or something cool that you could go and play with your friends while waiting in the lobby or just somewhere you could else travel to. But unfortunately, uh, because it's only an end head, I wasn't too amazed by it. I, did, I spent about three hours uh, working it out. So uh, I was a little bit disappointed. I thought it was going to be a little bit more, maybe at the size or something. But other than that, it's a really good uh, Easter egg, and I'd recommend trying it out for yourself. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe on this video. We'll be releasing one for the music discs very soon as well, and also some more content on Glide, some guides on how to get the world records, and just little things like that. Obviously, I've been trying my best to get the world record, but it's quite hard. A lot of YouTubers have had the advantage. They got to play with 4J and all that, so they did get a huge advantage on us, but we've tried our best. We're doing our best. I'll be playing some more Glide this weekend. Currently, I'm going to be quite busy, so I'm not going to be playing it up to there. I want to play some other games as well in the time being. I have got a really awesome skin pack though i do really like this skin pack i was really happy about buying this one it's probably like the only skin pack i've actually got in a while so yeah i'm really happy about that don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and once again this is postbots part signing out